Yo, what is good out there, guys? It's Roll Easy here, and I am finally back after about a week of not posting. Uh, I'm finally back, and I have a solo money glitch video ready for you guys to take advantage of. Now, this solo money glitch can take a little bit of time, but like I said, it's solo, no friends needed 100%, and uh, we'll get into it here in a bit, but I just wanted to touch on why I haven't been uploading. I mean, honestly, I kind of just took a break and I spent some time upgrading my equipment and getting my, you know, my studio set up. And uh, yeah, I just took some personal time just to kind of, you know, recollect all my things and set them in a proper order so that I can be more efficient. Uh, so it was just a bit of a self-improvement project there. But I am back, and like I said, with a solo money glitch, and we're going to start it right now. So basically, the founders of this glitch are Obese Giraffe, NHJ, and Tudo Facil France for the TV glitch that's like two years old. But basically, this is a god mode and card duplication glitch. First, we're going to hit solo god mode, and then we're going to hit a solo card dupe glitch. And the god mode part, you only have to do once. So what you're going to need for this glitch is you need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage, no friends needed, a retro customer of Benny's vehicle to dupe in your MOC. You need a nightclub, an RH8 in there, Lester Heist apartment slash text, and CEO, uh, you know, it's better to sign in as a CEO. You can use the buzzard or the free CEO vehicles to get around. Uh, we're going to be in a public session and get ready to drink a lot of beer and get drunk because that's pretty much, you know, a big part of this glitch. So, yeah, so right now, this is me inside of my MOC, inside the bunker, actually. So inside my bunker and inside the MOC and inside the personal vehicle storage, I have my LG Retro Custom that I will be duping. Oh, and no custom plates needed for this glitch, okay, guys? So this is a, you know, one of those glitches where you get fresh generic plates every time. Now, this is me over at the nightclub. I'm going to show you. You don't actually need a nightclub garage. You just need the nightclub itself so that you can get that one parking spot right here. Okay, so you see that? This is where you want to have an RH8 stored, you know, beforehand. So this is all in preparation to do the glitch. So open up your interaction menu and as well as all that other stuff, you want to go to hide options and you want to make sure that you can actually see all these jobs where it says show. You want to make sure they're all set to show, especially these two deathmatch ones right here. Okay. So once you have that set up, then there's just a few more things you want to do. Press pause, go to online and go over to options and you see where it says matchmaking, set that to closed. It does help with the solo God mode part. Uh, we've been doing this solo God mode thing for a long time now. Um, and I mean, not much has changed from it, but there is a little bit of a difference now. And as you can see right there, I actually accepted that Lester Heist text. You definitely want a Lester Heist text so that you can, you know, go straight back to your apartment. That will help a lot with this glitch. And I think it's actually a necessity. Yeah, for certain parts of the glitch. So once you've gone back over to your Lester CEO or Lester Heist apartment, sorry, go ahead and exit apartment or enter the garage depending on if you're in a public session or not i wasn't in a public session yet so i had to go outside and go find new session here we are all right so this is me now in a brand new public session you want to make sure you have at least 15 people or more in this session okay because we're going to be doing the god mode glitch first all right this is what you need to do like i said this only needs to be done once but this is very essential to actually get the glitch going okay you do need to be in this glitch state to be able to continue all right, so we should be loading into this garage here momentarily. There we go. Now, once we're in here, uh, go ahead and run all the way back over to where your TV is. You should have a TV here in like every 10 car garage. And once we're at this point, you want to go close enough to get the right T-pad option to actually get on the TV. And we need to go to a specific channel. Now, you want to go to the spectate channel. So right now, I know I'm on the security cam. So if I go right uh, on the left stick one time, then I should be over at the spectate channel. So I'm waiting for it to load. For some reason, the spectate takes a while to load sometimes. But yeah, there we go. So you see how you have the players list says spectating. That's the one you want to hover over. So press circle or B to get out of there. And now we're back at the garage. All right. So now I like to stand just about over here. Open up your phone. Go to play quick job. And there's a few different things you can try out. Now, the most popular method right now is going to heist and join lobby direct. Now, you see at the bottom right how it says looking for job. This is where you need to find your timing. Your timing can be anywhere from, you know, four to 12 seconds. Uh, basically, you need to find your timing to know when to press right D-pad. All right, that's the thing. So there's a few different jobs that you can, you know, pick from. 
Uh, in the beginning, we were using random jobs a lot because old contact missions and stuff seem to work really good. Old heists as well seem to work good, which is why we're using the heist option. So that's another method. But this will probably take you a little bit of time, okay? Especially if you've never done this before, it might take you a little bit of time. But basically, as you can see right here, I'm hitting join lobby direct on the heist. And anywhere around six or eight, maybe sometimes 10 seconds, depending on your connection, you want to hit right D-pad to watch the TV. And basically what you're looking for is you're actually looking to get shot up into the cloud. So basically into the job, but then also you will have the spectate, you know, kind of glitched into it. All right. You'll hit a black screen, basically going up into the clouds and then you'll be on spectate. And that's how you'll know you'll hit it. So all these right now are fails. And I wanted to include this long clip here fails just to show you that even, you know, even us YouTubers, it doesn't happen right away. Now, if you still can't get it trying a bunch of different jobs, you know, random jobs, heist jobs, anything like that, try a new session that sometimes does help. But from what I've seen, the timing is a really big thing. All right. You just got to get really lucky that one time and hit that timing. So right now I'm just waiting. I obviously didn't hit it right there. I'm going into the TV. Let me back out. And this is when I actually hit the glitch right here. So I'm going to open up my phone, play quick job. I think I go back to heist and try, try it again. Yeah, join lobby direct. And right now I'm just waiting. Look at the bottom right. I'm just going to go ahead and wait. We're at five seconds. Now I'm just going to go ahead and at around nine or ten. There we go. I'm going to press right D-pad and watch what happens. So I should get shot up in the clouds and get hit with a black screen. Now I'm kind of like frozen here. There we go. You see that? Up in the clouds, a black screen, and now in spectate. If you've done that part, that is what it should look like. That's how you know you hit it. Black screen going up in the clouds and at spectate. Now, you want to stay here spectating for, I recommend, around 15 to 20 seconds, maybe 10 to 20 seconds. Uh, the longer the better, but not too long, all right? So 20 seconds, I'd say, should do the trick. That's pretty much how long I stayed here. So yeah, stay there for about 20 seconds. And then once you've counted up to there, just simply press circle or B to back out. And when you spawn back in the garage, you should have no mini map. All right. If you have no mini map, you're good. If you still have a mini map, you got to try to hit it again. But if you don't have a mini map, you are good to go. Go ahead and just grab the one, any one of your cars in that garage, to be honest, doesn't matter what you have. So just grab any vehicle in that garage. And now you won't be able to bring up the pause menu. You need to do this little trick to bring it up. You know, you can't bring it up normally. Open up your phone, go to the internet, now press pause, and then your pause menu will work. So this is where we're headed right here, this team deathmatch, all right? Now it's pretty close over here to my apartment. So I'm just gonna drive there real quick. No need to set a waypoint or anything like that. If you have Eclipse Towers, it's like right down the street from there too. Uh, this is Tinsel Towers, so they're all pretty close by. But uh, yeah, this is Tequila, tequila La. This is the, you know, the location. And this is the blue circle that we need. So once you run into here, you wanna just go ahead and press right D-pad and you'll see it flash, just like that. So all that means now is that the God Mode is activated. So here is a little, you know, thing that happens. So at this point, you are full God Mode. Even though we're in a public session doing a dupe glitch, you are full God Mode. So you don't gotta worry about, you know, somebody actually killing you, uh, cause you can't die, you're in God Mode. So you want to wait for about two minutes until you have access back to your cars. You won't be able to get back in your car for a few minutes. So wait a couple minutes, get back in your car, find the location of one of the stores right here. One of these like 7-Elevens, basically these markets. And you want to buy a bunch of beer. All right. So like I said, we're going to be getting drunk a lot in this glitch. OK, so go down to the list, buy piss washers, make sure that they're full. Mine was already full, but I wanted to just show you these are the steps that we're going to be doing. Uh, at this point, you can sign in the CEO and call up your buzzard or free Pegasus vehicle, things like that. And you want to head back over to your bunker. All right. So right now, going into the MOC with my personal vehicle storage, I have the retro. This is the car that I will be duping. All I'm going to do is drive it outside. OK, drive it outside so that it's in this parking spot inside the bunker. Now, once we're at this point right here, you need those beers. This is why we filled up on beers before we got to this point. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my inventory menu, go to snacks and hover over Pisswasser. And what you're going to do is you're going to tap X or A twice for every beer. But on the second tap, you're holding it. So it's tap, then press again and hold. All right. And that's all you got to do. So tap, press and hold. And it's pretty much about four or five chugs per beer. But you want him to just keep chugging and chugging and chugging until you're around two beers. You will eventually pass out as long as you drink like this. Remember, don't just tap it once and that's it. All right. He'll only take one sip of the beer. You need to tap once and then press it again and hold it. All right. Until he's done drinking the beer and do that. So I'm eight beers deep, pretty much on the ninth right now. And there you go. Two sips into the ninth beer is when you pretty much pass out if you did it correctly. Now, we should be spawning over at the hospital 
over in Blaine County since we're at the bunker. So what you want to do is you can follow my exact, you know, location right here, but you just want to run down over to the drugstore or, you know, the little supermarket and grab more beers. All right. You're going to fill up on beers again. You're going to be doing this a lot. All right. We're going to be spending a few bucks on beers uh, to do this glitch, but it's all good. Call up your buzzard or whatever you need to get back over to the city and you want to go back over to your nightclub. Okay. Now, remember, like I said, you don't need a certain garage or anything. So you just want to hit enter nightclub. Once we're in the nightclub, you should have the RH8 in there. Just hop into it and you want to simply just press the gas and drive out. Once you've done that, the car should disappear and you should be just on foot standing there. Go ahead and open up your interaction menu and we're actually going to get drunk again. Okay, I know it's pretty soon, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get drunk again. So the same deal, guys. Uh, you know, tap once and hold it again, all right? So you're pressing once and then press it again and hold for each beer until he drinks the whole thing and then you do it again, all right? So two presses basically for every beer. Now, once you've gotten drunk and passed out, we should be back over at the hospital now in the city, all right? So now that we're over here, remember, grab a streetcar or whatever you need, go to another store and fill up on beers once again, all right? Fill up on beers and this is the point where you wanna head back over to your bunker. Once we're at the bunker, you want to get into the car that we left here. Remember, no personal vehicles out on the map before that. And as you can see, when we get into this car, the plate does change and we can go ahead and drive this into the MOC and save it. All right. So blue circle right here, right D-pad, accept it, and we're good to go. So at no point during that glitch, guys, do you want to call out a personal vehicle? All right. Because if you do, then this retro that was in that spot will despawn. That's why we're using buzzards or free CEO vehicles or street vehicles to get around. That's how you want to be getting around during this glitch. No personal vehicles because you do not want that retro or whatever Benny's vehicle you're duping to, de to despawn from this spot. So, like I said before, solo god mode, you only had to do that part once, all right? So to rinse and repeat, go ahead and drive the car out and then pull out your phone and accept the Lester Heist text to go back over to the city to, do, to your apartment. Now, go over to the door, hit exit apartment, and we should make our way outside. So now that we're outside, call up an RH8, a new RH8, and you want to put this in the nightclub. So right now we're basically resetting up to do the glitch again. So there is a little bit of preparation and there's a decent amount of driving or flying around, but this is 100% solo. So as you can see right here, I put my RH8 back into my nightclub. I'm just going to go ahead and open up my phone and accept the Lester Heist text to get back over, uh, you know, closer. And then you want to exit and go back to your bunker. Okay, so now we're headed back over to the bunker, and this is where you want to go ahead and grab the R or the retro or Benny's vehicle that we're duping and put it back into that spot so that we can repeat the glitch again. So you see that? That was just setup basically. That was just a reset up. But instead of going to do the whole God mode thing, straight from here after you pull that car out, we're gonna go ahead and get drunk and get ready to do this second dupe. So this is basically the beginning of the second dupe right after the setup for the second dupe. So get drunk, make sure you pass out. Once you've passed out, you want you will be spawning back over at Blaine County again. Run over to the liquor store and grab yourself a bunch of piss washers. So refill up, then head over to your nightclub. Remember, no personal vehicles on the map at all. All right, buzzards and free CEO vehicles. Get into your RH chain in the nightclub, hit the gas to drive it out. You should be on foot and the car should go invisible and despawn. Now open up your interaction menu. Let's get drunk again. All right, so fully pass out just like before do the little trick with the uh, double tapping x and stuff or double tapping a and we should be spawning back over at the hospital in the city once we've done that call up whatever vehicle you need no personal vehicles remember call up your buzzard your free ceo vehicle get back over to another store and fill up again on beers all right once you've filled up on beers head back over to the bunker and go inside and when you hop into this art or retro or whatever benny's vehicle you're using the plate should change just like that and we have a brand new dupe once again so i ran through it really quick that second time but that was just a quick overview of how you would do rinse and repeat and do the glitch again all right so drive it into your moc right d-pad accept the alert once you're in here that car is saved and you're good to go all right you can drive it out and then you can you know accept the lester heist text and get all the cars ready to go and reset up so that you can redo the glitch and rinse and repeat so really the first one takes the longest after that the second one and stuff is a little bit quicker okay but yeah guys that is the solo money glitch and a solo god mode glitch all in one take advantage of this it is sunday so we will have it again at least for today but uh yeah sorry i haven't been uploading i should be back on my grind soon that's gonna be it for me shout out to the founders my name is roll easy please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope gta5 online content 
We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.